Let's just shut off my light. Lock the door for today. And uh, get this locked up. Here we go. There we go. Boom. Locked up. Morning, neighbors. How you guys doing? You guys doing well? Perfect. Anyways, good morning, Saxon family. How you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you guys saw my last video, you probably know why. I am coming out of the shed right there, and that is because obviously got kicked out of the house because I got my stepdad something nice and didn't get my mom something nice. And little does she know that I did get her something. It just didn't come in. And I didn't want to say anything because like I would have felt bad. But now here I am living in a flipping shed. So uh, that absolutely sucks. But I got my uh, cot in there. I got a space heater and I got some blankets and an extra coat in there. So last night was fine. Honestly, I should have slept in my car, but. That actually let me come up with the idea last night when I was sleeping in there, but kind of requires me to travel. So by now you guys probably are gonna know what it is because of the title and thumbnail of this video. And uh, I think we're gonna go to PA today and we're gonna put the drone up over Jesse's new house, see if he's home A and B, then approach him and see if we can move in. I don't know, I feel like that's a good option. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I am allowed to go in the house though when I am live streaming or working aka filming so right now this is actually a good excuse to go in i gotta go pack a bag right now gotta get my drone gotta get a bag packed of just clothes everything that i might need and then we're gonna go from there hopefully uh jesse says yes but we're gonna go definitely go fly the drone over his new house see if he's there and uh I wonder what my drone's gonna catch at McJugger Nuggets new house. So if you guys aren't yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and uh, drop a like on this video. Without further ado, let's go to Pennsylvania. Guys, I have finally made it here to Pennsylvania. I'm actually in a parks parking lot. Uh, that's actually kind of a lot of parks to say right there. It's like a tongue twister in a parks parking lot. Try saying that right now. Anyways, we're about half a mile from his house, so I feel like this is the safest place for me to fly my drone. Basically, I can take the drone off here, fly it to his house, and fly it back. So the whole goal, honestly, is to fly the drone to his house, see if he is home, and then uh, basically be like, yo, take the drone back here, go to his house and be like, yo, bro, uh, question, can I move in? Because my mom kicked me out. I can't live inside, I have to live in a shed or my car or a tent, I don't know, I just can't live inside the flipping house, but I could do YouTube and uh, TikTok live streams, etc. from my room, I, I could use that as an office, I just can't sleep there. Uh, tell him all that and hopes he lets me live with him in the one two one point two million dollar lake house So while I'm flying the drone I'm actually gonna switch cameras from my Sony a6300 which you guys are currently watching this on to my Sony ZV-1 And that's because I don't have anybody here today recording me I don't really need any pop zooms at the moment and uh, I feel like the quality just might be better if I go to this for right now. So without a further ado, guys, let's switch to that camera and put the drone up right now. As you guys can see, we do have the drone up and going. Honestly, this view is so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this view, by the way, in the comments section. And uh, would you guys want to live in a place like this? Because honestly, I kind of do. So uh, hopefully Jesse's home and hopefully he will say yes to me moving into his house. Because, dude, I, I would love to see this view every single day. Just wake up, go out onto, like, the back deck or whatever, and just see the beautiful view of the lake. Like, yo, you can't beat this at all. This is such a nice view. It's giving me, like, Colorado vibes, even though this is Pennsylvania. Totally reminds me of when we went to Colorado a few years ago when I had to ask for my job back. And uh, I had to actually showcase my drone talent to him. And you guys basically were like, yo yeah give swift back his job like not only is he good with a camera but he's very talented with the drone but let's keep turning the drone around real quick and just take all this in like look at this lake like i can't believe this is part of his property the lake itself that's just insane um but thanks to you guys a few years ago uh you guys at that time helped me get the job back with uh your voting on my drone skills and i i feel like the drone skills or the one thing I am really good at besides holding a camera. Um, so let's, speaking of drone skills, get closer to his house. If you guys could do me a favor real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, and uh, turn on all notifications, So by the way, so you never miss out on any videos. As you guys can see though, right now, we are getting closer to his house, and oh my gosh, 
Dude, this is such a nice view. Like, imagine, just like, dude, I, so Jesse probably won't be mad with me flying a drone by his house, but I'm gonna say, like, Jesse, if you want, if you want me to take a screenshot of this right here, and you want this as like a wallpaper or something, let me know, dude, because honestly, if I owned this house, if this like was my house or I was living here and hopefully living here, I'd, I'd make this like wallpaper on my computer, wallpaper on my, um, what do you call it? On my phone? I don't know, but all right, let's just get a little close without getting too close to these trees, guys, because I don't want to crash a drone today. I have bad luck, as you guys know, when it comes to drones being crashed. I've done a lot of that. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys see him at all, if I miss him, uh, because there are like two different houses here, as you can tell. Uh, I'm slowly pulling the drone up right now, and I am currently going to actually see if there's an easier way down to his, uh, to his like house, because like there's so many trees. I think that right there might just be an issue, because like I am good, not going to lie, I am good at flying a drone in the wide open. But when there's a lot of trees around, it kind of gets a little tricky for me. So we're going to be a little careful here. And we're going to just continue flying this drone. Um, Alright, let's just keep going forward, forward, forward. Alright, here's an opening. This is good. We're going to drop it down right here. And go through here right now. And just get as low as we possibly can. And then try looking into some windows and seeing if Jesse is home. All right, get a little closer, get a little low. Looking down. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't crash right here. Because I am bad when it comes to flying my drone. Like, guys, if I crash my drone, honestly, I am going to be very, very upset with myself. Because, like, there's a lot of trees and stuff currently in the way. And I don't want to hit anything. I don't want to hit anything at all, so let's just keep flying the drone and hopefully get down here. So, all right, here we are. We're uh, we did make it. Not gonna lie, that was actually pretty pretty hard for me to do. My white balance, dude. I hate that. Like sometimes, like my auto white balance doesn't focus well. But let's see, is that him? Is that him right there in the kitchen? I can't tell. Do you guys see him at all? Let me know down below. I think that is him currently in the kitchen washing dishes. I don't want to get too close, dude. This tree is right there. I do not want to hit this tree at all. Because if I hit this tree, my drone goes down. Then I have to then go drive to his house. Which I don't mind because I get to go there. I want to go there. But at least now we know he is home. I just don't want to crash the drone and then like him finding the drone if he takes Jenny or Mason outside. Alright, you know what? Yeah, he is there. Let's turn this drone to the side a little. What is he doing? I see the Christmas tree still up. So that's good to know. Alright, let's just fly this drone back. I think he's wiping his hands. I couldn't I can't really tell. Alright, you know what? Let's go up. Let's go over. Let's go try checking out on the other windows. Oh my god! That house across the lake, guys, looks that's a beautiful like is that a log cabin? I can't tell. That's a beautiful house. Alright, you know what? Let's just keep flying forward. And let's go try seeing if we could see him down through the other windows. Wait. Yeah, that's him outside. Hopefully he does not hear the drone at all. I am so happy. The, uh, the newer the drones, the quieter they are, thankfully. To where you really can't hear them. But what's he doing in the hot tub? Bro. Yo, is he planning on going into the hot tub? Yo, you can see the steam. Guys, it is really cold, by the way, right now here in PA. So you can literally see the steam from the hot tub coming off that. What's he doing right there? Nice clean off six off his deck. Let me just keep moving around, see if we can see what he's doing. I wonder what he's going to do with that other, like, house right there. He literally has a whole other house. Well, oh, he's going downstairs. All right, let me bring this drone up. He literally has a whole nother house. Like, if he's not using that, maybe I could just live there. I'm trying not to crash the drone again. Hold on. Is he? Where is he? Oh, he's actually going down the pathway. Right, I'm going to fly the drone right here, guys. Hopefully not hit any of these trees, even though I got a good enough fight. 
I can't tell if this lake is frozen or not. It looks like... Have you guys ever seen, like, a lake right before it's about to freeze? Because that's what it honestly looks like. But here he comes. He's coming down this way, so... Uh, I don't want to get too close just yet. I wonder what he's doing. I'm not going to lie. I hope, like, in the summertime he comes out here and maybe fishes. Because, like, dude, you set up a little lawn chair. You throw, cast a rod out, cast a line out there. and Or you grab a fishing rod and you cast a line. Like, that's going to be a cool thing to do. What's he doing? I can't tell what he's doing right now. Is he on his phone? Alright, let me get a little closer. Let me fly a little closer. Okay, and then... Oh, wait, wait, wait. He sees the drone. He sees the drone. No, Jesse! Jesse, it's me! Dude, don't... Don't be running... Uh, okay. He is currently running inside. Um, That is not what I want to happen, because now he is definitely spooked from the drone. He is... He's 100% scared right there. Um, I really don't... That is one thing I did not want him to, to like have happen, is him getting scared from the drone. Because it might be giving him like flashbacks. Let me continue flying this here. Um, giving him flashbacks from when Brian flew the drone over the gate back when he was filming the documentary. Let me continue fixing my glasses. Hold on, let's see. Let me try getting low. He's back on the deck. Let me try getting low. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to, like, crash right here. Because this is a tricky spot to fly a drone, honestly. Oh, he's throwing something. What is he throwing at my drone? Bro, you don't gotta throw anything. I can't... Is that a stick? Is he trying to, like... To hit me like I'm a fly or something? Oh, he's trying to tell me to go away. Jesse, it's just me, dude. Yo, Jesse, I'm... Alright, you know what? Let me come in closer here. Let me go down lower. Oh, wait, where's he running? Dude, is he literally scared of the drone right now? Jesse, I don't even know why I'm yelling that because he can't hear me. I wish my drone had a speaker. Wait, he's going inside. Dude, you don't gotta go inside, Jess. Jess, it's me. And he's locking the door. Dude, why are you locking the door from a drone? I, I literally can't open the door with it. That would be sick if I could. Yo, Jesse... He's shutting the blinds now. Alright, he's home. He's home. So that's a good thing right there, though. That's a good thing to know. Um, let's start getting this drone to come back in a second. Because all he's doing is currently just shutting the blinds. That's literally, like, the last thing I didn't want to have happen is him getting scared by the drone. Alright, we're just flying this back now. Um, let's get the drone back here to the park and end up landing it. Okay, guys. So I just landed the drone and took everything apart and put it back in there. It's uh, time for me to go to the house because now that I know he's home, uh, I think this would be a great opportunity for me just to go there and be like, yo, dude, uh, do you mind if I stay here? You got a whole nother house, and honestly, I can I can use that house. Who's calling? Uh, might as well answer this. Yo, what's up? Hey, uh, you wouldn't have happened to have been flying a drone by my house, would you? No, bro, you're all the way in PA. Yeah, well, so I go out, I'm trying to take pictures uh, on the lake, and there's a white drone flying above me. Okay, and? You have a white drone. Alright, you got me. Yeah, yeah, no, that was me. I want to see. What are you doing, bro? I want to see if you were home, and obviously you are. I'm on my Why way over. Not just text me. Obviously, I'm, I live here, bro. Yeah, Why well, you not I, me up? I, I, well, I wanted to see if you were home with the drone and then come over. Uh, right now, I'm at a park, so I'm on my way over right now. You if you don't mind. Over, you know I'm being safe with the pandemic. I haven't even seen my dang bro, family for Christmas. Bro, I'll wear a mask. No, no. So, because I know you ain't behaving, dude. You're probably like freaking stopping at Wawa's and whatever. Are you here right now? Oh, I'm at a park right now. I could hear, bro. You're, 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 you're in PA. PA. I'm at a park, like half a mile He's down from your house, bro. I have a question. This, this is why I flew the drone of your house. I wanted to see if you were home because, like, I didn't know if you were going out anywhere or anything. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing with that whole other house attached to your house? I'm using it as a set. I ain't doing anything with it. Well, do you mind, like, if I? 
probably just kind of stay there for no. some time? No. I already know. No. You know, what? Why do people live at your house, bro? Jess, my mom know. just kicked me out. Alright. And she told me I can't stay in there, but like I can do my live streams on TikTok or whatever and film in there. I just can't. I can't sleep in there. I either have to sleep in my car or sleep in a tent or sleep in the shed. And that's where I slept last night. And you got a whole other house right there. Can I sleep in there? You need to get your life together. Go back to the government or something. Bro, they're not going to hire me back. The government needs you, bro. Get they... a freaking real job. I hate to say that. But, like, but YouTube is a real job, though, dude. You do it. Bro, I know, but it was different for me. Like, you've been grinding at it for so long, and I ain't got nothing yet. Bro. Like, I'm just saying. So I, well, wait, how long How long did it take for you to start growing? It took you, like, what, six years, seven years before the Psycho Series popped for you? Yeah, because it was like Storyfire. There was no users on YouTube. YouTube was small. They had to do giveaways just to get people on there for the first, like, five, six years. Bro. Now it's different. Yo, just, you got that whole second house right there attached to your yeah, house. You live in here, bro. You ain't living here. Bro, I... Yeah, I got a whole. I got the house in Jersey still. Like, go live with all them dudes. You actually fine with that? Not particularly, but like, if you really have nowhere else to stay, I mean, it was different when I was living there. I'm not living there, so I don't really freaking care. And I, I like Ashley that probably doesn't care. I'm not gonna let her know, but just you know, have at it, bro. So I can stay there because you know if I'm there, I'm gonna be making videos then, because I I need to make videos and make a living right now, so. It hasn't stopped you before from clickbaiting, so by all means, bro, if you're that hard up, Merry freaking Christmas, go hang out at the house. I, it's, it's up to Nick. Nick, Nick, I mean, Nick's my number two now. You're like, no, I understand that. I mean, like, if you guys need me, if you need me to, I don't know, well, not power wash, because I did that, or, like, take care of the leaves. If you need me to, like, take care of stuff at the house, I will. All right, I would hope you would. I mean, you're going to have to run all that through through them, dude. They're it, the rigid boys now, It's so. It's rent-free, though, right? Because I can't no. afford much. Oh, no. Swift, you are in the rigid house. You, I, I get either a portion of your AdSense or you're going to have to pay me rent. We can talk about it later if you actually do take me up on this offer. All right, well. <laughs> Those boys, though, it, it's, you know, it's Nick and Miguel and Tippy. It's their place now. And Jeffrey, too. I don't know if Jeffrey's going to fly, but I don't. You know, you're going to have to cross that bridge. Well, I guess I'll head there right now and talk to them. Because, like, last time I was there, Tippy kind of did some weird stuff. And I, I just... Yeah, all right. Well, I'm not responsible for him. Look, right. I mean, you either do that and putter around even more so, waste another couple of years of your life, or I would just bend the knee to your parents and go get a real job, bro. Call it, call it and throw in the towel, man. I don't want to quit on myself right now. So I, I'm going to do that then. Cause I want I want to do this. I want to do YouTube. I want to do Story Fire. I want to do, continue doing social media. So you know what? I'm gonna take up on that offer. I'm gonna go to the house right now. Then. All right. Thank you. I I genuinely do appreciate it. Treehouse is, is perfect for you. What's that? The treehouse. No, you it's said the house. house. Live there. No, the treehouse. What I meant is for you, dude. Don't come back here. Stop flying drones. All right. Also delete because I hope you didn't catch her doing stuff in the windows. No, I, I saw you were just, you were just, I didn't even see you in the windows, honestly. All right, all right. Well, Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. All right. I'll take it. That's not bad. Guys, I think I'm going to go pay the guys a visit at the Rigid House. Hopefully, they don't mind me actually living there. I'll see you guys later. Peace.